Dear colleagues, in this video, I want to encourage you to raise your skills and help someone see the world clearly. This is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. And in such cases, in cataracts of this density, I usually do what I call submarine job. Submarine job is a technique to divide the nucleus at on go without making any trench. Here it is. In this case, by this time I have made the incisions and to do a capsulorexis very nicely, I have stained the capsule with tripan blue dye. And now the dye is washed out using a 23 gauze Simco cannula. And now I inject viscoelastic substance and it is HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose 2%. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. See how it is being done. I incise the capsule with a 26 case band needle and raise this flap. Now I take a uterate of horseps, hold this flap, go anticlockwise. I try to remain at equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated people and thus I do this rexis. Now tell me, if you can raise your skills to such a level that you can do round rexis like this in most of your cases, do you really need a femtosecond laser? No. Because if you own such costly instruments. You are going to charge your patients. You will not be able to keep your packages economical. Anyway, it is good if you can have such tools and still you can make your surgery affordable and now see this is submarine chow push the nucleus down enter into the substance of the nucleus go through the nucleus just like a submarine travels through water and as you cross the center reach near the opposite equator you chop it and see how easily you can chop the nucleus at on go Rotate the nucleus on 80 degree, hold the lower half and divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. And each heminucleus is then subdivided and these free nuclear fragments are emulsified and removed. FECO power used in this case is 80%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Now see, here the two fragments are not separated. So attack from the apex and immediately the two fragments get separated from each other. And that's it. Only one fragment is remaining and here it is. This is emulsification of the last fragment. At this time what I do is I remove the chopper to prevent leakage or minimize the leakage from the side port and the antechamber becomes more stable. Now here the epinucleus I am using the chopper to help engage the FECO tip and here it is. The epinucleus is removed. The nucleus management part in this video is not at all edited and you have watched each and every step of the nucleus management. Now, rest of the surgery is going to be edited. Cortical cleanup is being done with a 23 gauze Simco cannula. You can use your bimanual IA or coaxial IA. The goal is to nicely clean the cortical matter and we can do some polishing of the posterior capsule but be careful not to cause posterior capsular rent while you polish the posterior capsule 
now in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and here goes the intraocular lens it is being implanted keeping the antechamber formed under irrigating fluid the lens is placed in the capsular bag and now in this case I saw that there is a lot of leakage from the side port so I am going to use an air bubble because the antechamber became very shallow so an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is made deep and then hide this is moxifloxacin intracameral moxifloxacin and now hydration of the stroma on either side of the side port is done to close these wounds that's it once the side ports are closed just have to do a final lavage of the anterior chamber and conclude the case so friends please incre increase your surgical skills develop your surgical skills to such a high level that you don't need high-tech machines thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you will encourage you to develop your surgical skills